Hi everyone, it's Katya, and today I'm sharing my thoughts on John Scalzi's latest offering, Starter Villain. Scalzi is an American sci-fi author and former president of the Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America, best known for his Old Man's War series, three novels of which were nominated for the Hugo Award. He's also known for superb standalone novels, his book Red Shirts, which is a tongue-in-cheek novel about the expendable characters in Star Trek, or with the Red Shirts, won the 2013 Hugo Award for Best Novel. My personal favorite of his is Fuzzy Nation, which I reviewed earlier this year and will link in the video description. Starter Villain is a standalone novel with scope to actually, you know, come back, but really it is a standalone. It closes really wonderfully. It masterfully blends wit and whimsy, standing as a testament to John Scalzi's prowess in penning light-hearted speculative fiction. Now, he is known for his sharp humor and incisive social commentary, delivering yet again in this novel with a narrative that is as entertaining as it is reflective of our times. And it is the first book in a long time, in fact, probably since Fuzzy Nation. There might be one in between, but I can't really remember it. But it's the first book in a long time that has had me laughing out aloud at the ridiculous scenes played out during the funeral of the protagonist's uncle. So the protagonist, Charlie, is an everyman ensnared in the web of supervillainy, suddenly middle-aged and thrown into this. It's a delightful inversion of the chosen one trope that is all too common in fantasy and science fiction. The novel's cover with the cat is a sleek, visually arresting piece that gives you an idea of the absurdity and charm that's going to be delivered in the book. It promises, it delivers a story where cats are not just pets, but pivotal players in a game of cunning and power. That said, they are not the main character. Very much Charlie is the protagonist. It's just a lot of fun. Where we're taken through a world where the line between good and evil is as blurred as it is in our reality. The levity and laughter that permeate the pages are a refreshing departure from the often grimdark atmosphere of contemporary science fiction. Oh, I don't know. One second. I had these on from earlier. I was listening to another book. So Scalzi understands the assignment. He is here to entertain, but not without getting the reader to ponder on the larger-than-life issues that plague our society. Corporate greed, the vast chasm between the haves and the have-nots, the exploitation of both human and non-human beings or entities. So look out for the dolphins is all I'll say. The novel's dialogic, is it dialogic? I think so, dialogic. Anyway, the nature of it is very much dialogue. And that is both its strength, and I think for me personally, it's a bit of an Achilles heel, because the banter is quintessentially scalzy, sharp, snappy, smart. For me, it was, you know, it made me laugh, but at times it felt like I could do with a little bit more descriptive prose in between the relentless repartee. But that is really nitpicking. This is Scalzi's sandbox, and he plays the game with a clear understanding of his readership's expectations. So Starter Villain holds up a mirror to our society's own super villainy, wrapped in the trappings of a comedic caper. It's a reminder that sometimes to understand the world's complexities, you need to view them through a satirical lens, or that's the way I like to view it anyway. Scalzi's narrative is a call to acknowledge the supervillains of our time, the untouchable billionaire elite, and perhaps find our own ways to address the imbalances they perpetuate. Having said that, in order to address those ways, it wouldn't help, uh, wouldn't wouldn't hurt <laughs> to have a few million yourself. Anyway, in conclusion, Starter Villain is a must read for those yearning for a narrative that doesn't take itself too seriously, yet doesn't shy away from casting a critical eye on the societal constructs of power and villainy. This is an invitation to laugh, think, and maybe, just maybe, be a little wary of your cat. You all thought you were cleverer than me getting your felines when I have a canine. Well, given the ending, you might be right. Not to throw shade at Milo, but yeah.
let me know in the comments. Have you read this one? Are you a Scalzi fan? And are his books on your future reading list? Thanks for tuning in. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Bye.